What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Giants video. Tonight, I'll be live streaming the Oklahoma Sooners and UCLA Bruins, so I hope you guys are tuned in for that. Hang out in the live stream. should be a lot of fun. It's actually fun watching one of my football teams kick some ass, so that's a good thing. Hope you guys will tune in for that. Um, I didn't do a video initially on the Minka Fitzpatrick thing, so obviously this is not breaking news or anything new, but a lot of people have asked me my opinion, so I figured I'll give it to you. Uh, Minka Fitzpatrick, obviously... Uh, has requested a trade from the Miami Dolphins. And although they're not actively shopping him, they have allowed him to seek a trade. He'd be perfect for the New York Giants, let's face it. I mean, he can play that money back a role. He can play safety. He can play corner. He's very versatile out there. We have a very young secondary. Very young as far as cornerbacks go. And it showed, the inexperience showed against the Dallas Cowboys. And not that Minka Fitzpatrick is some savvy veteran out there, but he is very versatile. He's a hell of an athlete, and he's a really good player. And like I said, he can do a lot of different things. We are very thin at the safety position, so he would definitely help out there. And then you're just adding youth to your secondary. He can also play the money backer slot. So he can do a lot of things, and he would really be perfect for James Betcher's system. Now, I had a lot of Giants fans ask me, Bad Doug, what would you give up when we give up a first-round pick? Now, I know he was a first-round pick. And I would not give up a first-round pick because looking at our team right now, I don't think we're very good. And it's one game, I know, that it could definitely turn around. But looking at how he played against Dallas, looking at the inexperience, just looking at all the injuries and, and problems we've had with our wide receiving core, I really don't know how good we're going to be. I would hate to give up a top-10 pick to get Minka Fitzpatrick because although you're filling a need, you could also fill another need with your first round pick in 2020. I mean, the Giants just have so many holes, and that's the problem. So it'd be like robbing Peter to pay Paul. You get a top 10 safety slash corner, um, but at the same time, you're giving up a top 10 pick where you could get a right tackle, where you could get a wide receiver, where you could get a linebacker. These are all things that we need very badly, and I would hate to give that up just to get Minka Fitzpatrick over here. I would offer two second round picks because I still think the Giants would pick very early in the second round this coming year and of course another second round pick maybe they gave up a, uh, a second two seconds and a fourth two seconds and a third and I think that's the most that I would give up for Mika Fitzpatrick now there's a lot of rumors about him going to Dallas or at least that they would be the favorite because let's face it Dallas has the cap space Dallas is not going to draft early in the first round. So if they give up a 25th or 26th like they did for Amari Cooper last year, it would definitely benefit them because they're already young. They've got a lot of their guys locked up. Obviously, they're going to have to lock up Cooper. They're going to have to lock up Dak Prescott. But they have the cap space to do all this. So they're really in a good spot. And they obviously would be able to offer Miami a first round pick. So if the Giants are going to do it, they would have to somehow find a way to offer more than Dallas. Obviously, the Eagles are always talking about that. Every every freaking free agent, trade request, hold that. Every one of them is going to the Eagles. Every one of them. And I'm not just talking about the video makers. But I'm talking about all the articles I read. Like all these Eagles uh, vloggers or bloggers or whatever the hell they are. It's a blogger because they're writing articles. Uh, they're all like, oh, well, he put down his Eagles as his favorite team when, he, when they asked him in the draft. That, that, that doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just funny how they're all, they always seem to be in the mix for every single player. I don't think Minka Fitzpatrick is going to go anywhere anyway. However, I do think if the right price arose, you know, itself for Miami, that they could do it. They got a massive haul for Laramie Tunsil. You know, and at the same time, it's like, what are they doing? You got Josh Rosen, you traded for him. He's a young quarterback. And even if you go out and draft the quarterback next year, you still want a great left tackle, and they got rid of Laramie Tunsil, but they did get two first and a second. So if they get something, a really good haul for Minka Fitzpatrick, it's definitely feasible that they look to move him. And again, I don't know if the Giants can offer him enough, or them enough, rather, because I'm not giving up a first-round pick for him. I'm sorry. I'm feeling like we're picking top 10 again this year. I hope I'm wrong. But I don't want to chance it, because again, what are you going to do? That You leave yourself without a first-round pick, and you go 4-12 and 12 or 5-11 and 11 this year without that first-round pick, man. You're really not improving your team. That's a difficult thing to do. Like I said, you're, you're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're filling one hole, but you're leaving another one empty. So you, I don't really think you're doing anything with that. I think you're, that's a lateral move instead of a forward move. If we could give up a second and a couple other picks, then i definitely consider it because you got a first-round talent. You'd still get to keep your first-round pick. And again, I doubt Miami would do that. But that's what I would look to do. Um... As far as that goes, as far as getting him here. But he would definitely be a huge piece for us. There's no doubt about that. It would certainly add a lot of versatility and more depth to a very young, inexperienced secondary. And I would love to have him here, but I don't just don't see it happening. But as the coming weeks uh, progress, it'll be interesting to see what does happen 
with Minka Fitzpatrick. So that's really all I got in this video, guys. As always, I really appreciate you watching, commenting. It means the world to me. I hope we'll see you um, in the chat tonight for Oklahoma and UCLA. And until that time, guys, go eat some dinner. Come hang out with me, drink some beers. Let's have some fun tonight. Saturday night, baby. Let's have some fun. It's Bad Dog, and I am gone. Peace!